So Jono, not the ideal start to 2022. Um, just give us your assessment on today's 1-0 defeat here at South Shields. No, obviously we want to come in and get three points. Um, but we're playing against a top team, top club. I thought the boys, you know, attitude and commitment was, was first class. You know, um, we had a game plan, 4-4-2. And uh, try to get them on the counter attack and you know get balls in their box and you know work off um, you know, long throws and set plays and stuff like that. We had a few half chances and right towards the end, the Clinton's had that perfect opportunity. We're just waiting for that you know that one counter attack where we could get in and score. And um, you know, Clinton threw on goal with about a minute to go, and you're thinking he's going to bury it, and he just puts it wide on the post, but which was disappointing. But I thought we, we'd give him a real good game. Um, the commitment from the team was was, was where I wanted it. And, uh, um, the players are, are really buying into it. You need you need a real good work ethic to get results in this league. And I think you know if you ask South Shields and, and their manager and their players at the end of the game, um, were they tested today? They definitely were, and um, they've definitely been in the game. So I'm pleased with the, the way we've played, but obviously um, not too pleased with you know not getting any points. Yeah, the biggest chance for us came right at the end of the game. Um, just share your disappointment on, on Glynny putting the ball wide because at 1-0 you're always in the game and, and it felt like we always had that, that chance that could potentially give us a point. It, it must feel quite frustrating for you to, to not come away with anything today. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be frustrated if we didn't perform well, but I thought you know, we performed well today. I think, um, obviously, you know, they've got some good players, um, you know, full-time. I think um, you know, their first goal, you know, we, we've hit the tackle. And the ricochet has gone back into their path where they've scored. Um, so a little bit of a rookie there. Maybe we should win the tackle, be a bit more aggressive in the tackle. Um, but I think they only had one shot of goal in the first half. And then, like you say, half time, we just said to him, listen, keep playing the way you're playing. Good shape, disciplined, ready for the counter attack. And we'll get a few chances. We've had a few chances off corners, maybe a few throw ins. And then Glidney gets put in 94th, 95th minute, through on goal. And, you know, Glidney's a very technical player. You're thinking he's got that composure just to slot it or even go around the keeper and he you know I think he just pokes it with his outside of his right foot where he probably needed to have a side foot with his left foot either side or maybe do a little step over and go around the keeper and slot it but he's tried to poke it with his outside of his right and it's just gone wide in the post and, you know it was disappointing because you know you're waiting for that chance to uh, to uh, come and um, you know if it goes in and you get a point away from South Shields it's a, it's a great start to the year. Yeah and having said that defensively the performance of the back four putting must have really impressed you from the sidelines I mean in our last couple of away games we, we haven't really conceded many goals so to keep that run, run going and, and to be defensively quite sound at the back you must be really pleased with that. Yeah really pleased uh, really pleased because um, you know uh, Will obviously came off injured you know towards the end of the last game um, he didn't train and, Thursday, so we kept it to see if he was fit. He had another job on Thursday, he felt better and he was, he was ready to go. Um, obviously, Bailey, since he's been back into the team, helps Will. And, and obviously, we've got Dill as well at centre half, who's, who's been good as well when he's played, so he's, he's just to bide his time. But I think uh, Keyser, as a right back, has settled in quite well. And uh, Jacko's been, been in good form since he's got back into the team as well. And I think, you know, you're happy when you haven't seen him in the Probably Watto's not naturally a winger, but he does his defensive work really well. Um, you know, double, double something else. Um, he's full back, and I think he's been doing that as well. And we've probably looked much more solid in the last four games. Um, and I'm probably, it's probably the only time I could say I'm pleased with the last four performances. Yeah, we need to add a little bit of quality in the final third, be a little bit better on the ball, you know, in certain areas. But I think um, defensively, we look strong as a team, we look strong. And, and the players are playing for each other, you know. And, uh, got a couple of sessions on the training pitch now uh, back at home next Saturday and then a game after as well on the Tuesday night and um, this is a big run for you isn't it to start 2022 in the in the best form and, and keep in touch with the playoff places yeah well that's what we want to do um, we'll be training Tuesday and Thursday night and looking forward to the game on Saturday against Passford uh, you know who, who are doing quite well now you know creeping up the league um, we played the first game of the season we know what they're about but if we play like we've done the last, even today, the last four games, um, put a performance like that and a little bit better in the final third, um, I think we, we can get three points and I'll be saying that to the players. Uh, we need to you know, find better areas uh, in the final third and be a bit more composed, but if we can do that, we can definitely hurt Basford.